What is up, comic fam? Welcome to the Legion of Comics. I'm Mark, and I've got an awesome, awesome mail call today. It's uh, my winnings from a comic book auction. There's some Raws, there's some slabs, there's some series, there's some magazines. There's a little bit of everything in this, I believe. But before we bust it open, check this out. If you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a lot. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss when future content drops. Like the 600 subscriber giveaway that was just done. A lot of good stuff was given out. Had a good time. Appreciate everybody stopping by and hanging out and participating. And I'll be getting all that stuff mailed out here really soon. As soon as I get a chance. Works a little crazy. But yeah. A good member of the community that you've uh, heard me talk about. Uh, numerous times here lately, Tulp Fiction. Him and his buddy do a Facebook auction, uh, fairly new, definitely new to me. And it's on M and M, like the candy, M and M Comics on Facebook. And they do it every Sunday evening. And I was able to hang out in the uh, past couple of them, and I was able to heavily participate in uh, not the one from this Easter Sunday, but the one before. And I've got a lot of good stuff. I'm really looking forward to. When I tell you these guys. Prices are insane. These guys' prices are insane. They look and uh, they said that they kind of look up the prices the day of and the day before and make sure that they put it on the low end of things. Like everything that they put up is priced to move. Like, they have uh, all kinds of stuff too. They put up uh, new stuff, old stuff. Raw books, lab books, keys for days. Uh, they even have like old magazines and stuff. Right. That's just great. So much tape. There you go. With that, with a big Gemini mailer and a bag in a box. All right, so there's the Gemini mailer. I'm guessing that this might have the slavages in it. I did order a couple of slabs, or win a couple of slabs, but uh, for details I won't get into, one of them is going to end up going to a better home than I had on the had it replaced with a different slab, which is coming at a different day and time. So I'm not sure how the packing and shipping is going to be. All right, so there's two CGC slabs in there, so we'll save those. I think I got that many. We'll see. I thought I only got two slabs, and one of them I decided to send to a, a better a better home where it will be loved and cherished forever. All right. Super excited. I see pool tabs. So I got a nice stack of books here. And there are pool tabs, which is make my day. So some of these are going to be, well, it's a little bit of everything here. You'll see in just a second. Uh, almost there. I'm sorry. I'm not that entertaining right now. I'm super tired. My allergies are killing me. All right. Let's see what we got. No particular order. All right, this was just a cool Superman cover I saw. This is Superman number one. The V cover from Bendis' run. Didn't have this one. It was super cheap, so I snagged it. Next up, there we go. Blood Syndicate number one from Milestone in the poly bags. So this set includes Blood Syndicate number one, four panels of Giant 16 panel mural, exclusive cover poster, and Skybox trading cards. So if you saw the video earlier this week, I just picked up uh, – I 
another milestone number one. I don't even remember which one it was at this point. I think it was hardware. I got yeah, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was hardware. I got the poly bag version and just the non poly bag version. So that's another milestone number one check off the list. Next we have aha silver surfer black. So I slept on this series. And uh, so I don't plan on going through the whole Null saga or anything, but I was going to pick up Silver Surfer Black and go through and read it. Next up. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff, in my opinion. Here we go. Frank Miller's and Lynn Varley's 300. Yes. Look at that. Yes, look, look at old Leonidas. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that beard. That's a fierce beard. That's a DJ Lynx beard right there. Is that other cover here? And the final issue. So there's the whole the whole run. I want to do this one time right here. Cool with dueling cover. The Persians and the Spartans. Such a great story. You haven't read it in years. Never owned really individual issues. He had it for such a great price. These are all in fantastic shape. Like, I don't see a spine tick on them. Not sure why you'd want to part with these things. So it looks like they're... Okay, yeah, here we go. Next we have... A copy of X-Men number one. I wasn't sure if I had this cover and he popped it up, so I just jumped on it. I do have uh, the Magneto one, the one with Gambit on it, the one with uh, Wolverine on it. So I think this one might have been the only one I'm missing. Might have it. Don't know. It was worth just grabbing just in case. If not, it'll just go back out as an AOK. -okay. And then I got X-Men number 266, which this is the uh, third appearance of Gambit. Look at him. He's down there taking a nap. See him? Yeah. See that? That whole Gambit shelf up right now with both of his first appearance. So, yeah, that was awesome. Good to have that for the gamut collection. Now for the slabs. Let's see which ones are here. I only remember which one because, like I said, one of them decided to send to somebody else in the community who wasn't able to make the uh, the show that night. And there was a book I picked up, and Mike reached out and asked me what I plan on doing with it, if it was for the PC or whatnot, and uh, told me who he was trying to get it to, and I said, send it to him. So yeah, there's books in there too, so I don't know. Let's see. Maybe I got my boxes mixed up and this is the one that Mike sent me. So one of those is not meant to stay with me, I don't think, so I'm not going to show it. Okay. Oh, they were just going to send it to him. I'll get it to him. Alrighty. So it looks like, yes, here we go. There's the magazine I was talking about. And then the slab. All right. So not long ago in a video, y'all saw where I got a uh, AOK -okay from Tolk Fiction. He came across a wizard magazine, which was the Death of Superman special, and he sent it to me. I still have it right here in reach. I think I put it up. But it was fantastic. It had a game phone cover. It was chromium. It had Superman fighting Doomsday. It had Lois on there. It had Jimmy on there. Well, then this wizard magazine popped up, and uh, it was cool for numerous reasons. So I like the uh, Valiant characters. In no way do I like him as much as Southern Comic Geek, but I've always loved uh, Dr. Solar. I mean, Blood, uh, Bloodshot's cool, but uh, there's a like a Punisher Santa on there, but more so than that, what was really cool was the back cover. Where were you when Superman died? And it has his tombstone on it. It says, here lies Earth's greatest hero. Dooms in its advertising for Death of Superman trading cards. I just, I love that advertisement. This is still in the bag. It's a, uh, yeah, it's just, 
really cool. I can't see what uh, other cards it has in there. It looks like it has one uh, wizard card, a, a Superman Doomsday preview card, and a McFarlane Santa. So some cool stuff in there. The Death of Superman trading card. And that ad on the back is what really sold me. That That's fantastic. So I'll just put that with my Superman special one. I love those old wizard magazines. And look at that. It's number 17, which happens to be my lucky number. That's really cool. All right. So then finally, for the slab. Man, that's a cool cover. I'm going to take it out. So I am. Never see these things good with all the glare. Oof. All right. So, what we have here is Ghost Rider number one from uh, Way, and that is a Mark Texteria cover. I actually met him. I've got one of his workbooks, and he sketched me a Hulk in it, but and it's at a 9.6, so that's a very, very happy with that grade. It's a good grade. Love me some Ghost Rider. And this does seem like it is one of their older slabs. I think this is the first older slab from CGC that I have. It has an actual sticker on the top. That's awesome. It squeaks like that. So yeah, good stuff. And then it comes with a certificate of authenticity from Dynamic Forces Inc. has issued a certificate to authenticate this copy of Ghost Rider number one CDC grade at 9.6 as one of the specialty limited series. So it's a, a specialty item. And it has white pages, Ghost Rider number one from 2006, Daniel Way Story, Javier Saltez, and Mark Texaria, or Mark Texaria and Richard Isenov cover. Yeah, one more time for that one. So that, yeah, that's really cool. Cover. That's awesome. Some good stuff there. So that was it for this. Like I said, there's another slab here, but I do believe this this is meant to go to somebody else. So I'm going to make sure it gets to them. And I don't want to show it off because it is somebody who's also a content creator. And I, uh, I want to make sure it gets to them and let them be the ones to show it off. But I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, let me know what you think of these these books. You know, that third appearance of Gambit. Any Gambit fan probably ends up with one of those eventually. Uh, and X-Men number one from the Jim Lee run, which was the best X-Men run ever, probably. There's that random Superman cover, which I loved. Awesome score with Blood Syndicate, still in the poly bag. Silver Surfer Black number one. And then... I think this is what I'm most excited about is that complete run of 300. Like that's just that's awesome. That's really awesome. And it's all in such great shape. So I'm gonna have fun cataloging these and throwing them next to the bed on the desk and get ready to read them. Don't know when it'll be, but uh it'll be as soon as possible, that's for sure. What a what a cool wizard cover, you know. Dr. Solar's the man. I want to get his first appearance. Back when Gold Key had that character, Gold Key was rocking out some bangers back in the day with those painted covers and what have you. But yeah, let me know which one you uh was your favorite. Let me know what you thought about that haul and uh go check out Eminem Comics. Uh, I'll leave a link to their page in the description to this video. Go ahead and go check it out. Uh, give them a thumbs up on Facebook so you get notified when they go live. It's a uh, I'm telling you guys, it's it's an amazing. Amazing set of guys to uh, buy books from. They're they're fantastic. They're packaged amazingly. Their prices are ridiculous, but I uh, can't can't say enough good things about them. And also, Mike from Eminem Comics has a YouTube channel called Tolt Fiction. If you haven't already subscribed to him, go check his channel out. I'll I'll leave a link uh, in the description of this video to find his channel. So until next time, guys. As always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.